Well, gamers, welcome to the final episode of season one. Uh, I've been drinking a lot, uh, so I've got a cup of tea now to try to put me into a sober state. Uh, it's not great. It's not a great cup. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to drink more during this video, so I'm going to end up sounding like shit. I'm going to play like shit. Probably finish bottom. But hey, look, positivity and all that, positive vibes. Usually I have a thumbnail done before the video comes out, depending on what type of video and what type of thumbnail uh, template I'm going with. I make my own templates, by the way. Um, I don't have one for this, and I have a very basic template that I go with. Now, spoiler alert, uh, every season is going to have a different background. Well, every video in that season will have the same background as season one. All has the same shit on it. Season 2 will have different background, but they'll all be the same, just so you can tell what season's which. If you don't want to actually read what it says on the thumbnail, or if it's too small, or if it doesn't load properly. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Just I'm going to try and make them different colours if I can. Now, there's no guarantee on that. That's not a promise. It's more of a an aim of mine. Doesn't mean it's going to come true, but I'm going to give it a shot. Just like I plan to give it a shot to not finish bottom. Oh, you fat fuck. You passed in the wrong area. Oh, Jesus. Right, I'm going to shut up and just like the gameplay. Good game. Uh, I was actually on the phone to someone during that. So, um, yeah, that was that was interesting. We absolutely trashed like Rovers. I know it's 4-3 and all that, but... We played them off the park. It was an absolutely insane match of football. Um, I'm going to have to give man the match to Gormley. Uh, he got a hat-trick in that game. Uh, yeah, so I got a phone call during that. So there's no point showing the recording. Because, you know, I was you know, on the phone. Embarrassing myself. But anyway, 7.9 for Gormley. Agreement for Cash to fuck off the Finn Harps. That is good. Cash, I don't think he's played a single game for me this season. And he doesn't have to either. Because he's not good enough. Anyway, UCD time. Let's see what we can get. Five points clear. Hopefully it would be eight. Right. Kearney's in at left back. McGee's in at right back. Ish. And McShane's back up top. Should be enough to get us past the, uh, the disaster. That is going to be UCD. Hopefully we can get something from it. Anything at all. As long as it's not a loss. I'll take it as a win. Hopefully that sentence wasn't too confusing. Anyway, let's jump in and uh, see what I can get. Oh, that's a good ball. Apparently just run. Cross it. Potentially a handball, maybe. Go on. Rebound. Corner, maybe. Yeah, cool. Get that in the box. And it goes outside the box. Penalty? Penalty? How the fuck's that a penalty? Oh, let's have a look here. I just poured myself another drink, so uh, the end of this video could be interesting. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Please watch. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Fuck. That was off his shoulder. That was not a penalty. That's a disgrace. Didier Drogba would be shocked. And that penalty was a fucking disgrace. Oh, I'd rather just see where I'm aiming the ball. I'd much rather that. Was it so hard just to keep that feature? Yeah, you can add your fancy little graphic crap into it. But you could have kept the, the aim. You can aim with free kicks. Like, why can you not aim with penalties? Even for a career mode. Like, just quality of life features, please. Also, I slide tackle before your man took the shot, and only after Cadona saved it did my player slide tackle. Input lag, not good. Well, I don't think it's lag, I think it's input delay. I think it's on purpose. Because, you know, they went to score because of it. Of course they did. Of course they fucking did. Oh, boy. Well, as long as I don't want to say anything racist, homophobic, or sexist, I should not get cancelled. That's uh, that's a positive thing. That's a joke, by the way. Inside joke with my friends. Only only they'll understand. Oh, we're fucked. We are fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Conan does enough. 
Just put your man off. Good work. McBride should have just fucking ran the way he was going. This man has fallen off a cliff recently. Hit that. More. You aren't great. I need McShane to be huge for us. But I don't get that feeling off him. Unfortunately, I just don't think he's going to be good enough. I don't know, I hope I'm wrong. We need some big players in this team. I need all my youth players to step up. The passing is absolute fucking AIDS. I literally passed to my left and they booted straight ahead of them. Right to where there is only the op the only opposition player. Yeah, I'm finished. Nah, they, they passed it directly to the only opposition player that was within the four of my players in the circle. He was in the center of it. They passed to the one guy. The one area where it could have been picked up. They had to just pass it to the left where I fucking aimed. It would have gone straight to one of my players. The game is fucking fixed. Oh, I hate it. I really do. And Cash has so been sold. Thank fuck. He's, he's pointless. Alright, St. Pat's time. Last time I played these, I got absolutely destroyed. Is that going to happen again? Probably. I've got David Odomosu in goal. So, yeah, probably. But well, it's not going to stop me from trying for a little bit until I just give up. Oh, we've got a good counter-attack going on here. Oh, who's that? Oh, my God. Whoever that was, you should have finished that. Gormley. Silly boy. Good work. Offside, I think. Good save, regardless of whether it was offside or not. That was excellent. As I said, I stand by my assessment about David Odomosu. You can see that on uh, the Refuse for Steam. I'm a very big fan of him. And I do think he should get a chance for Ireland at some point. I would like to see him have a chance. Maybe in a friendly to start off with, just in case. But okay, I'm sure he can prove himself. I have faith. One more touch. Goal. Oh, off the post. What is this? Gormley should have a hat-trick. He should have a hat-trick, and he doesn't. This is bullshit. How are we not winning by at least one, let alone three? Oh, it's frozen again. Nice, nice. That's fucking helpful. You need to optimize this game, ASAP. Shane, just run. It's not where I aimed, but it doesn't matter. He still has the ball. No, of course they're going to give it against me. Of course they will. Anything to just slow my progress down. Unfairly. Right, half time, nil nil. Should be three nil to me. And somehow somehow it's not three nil. But Gormley is looking to be our man of the match if things keep up this way. Because he's the only way we look to score at the moment is just get the ball to Gormley. Uh, Defensive-wise, uh, we've been doing okay. Uh, I can't really think of any noticeable events that have happened with the defense. So that's a, that's a good thing. If I don't notice the defense, that's a good thing. The Cron has some work to do. And he does it well. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, Cardona did. Oh, sorry. Cronin did do his job well. The game just decided to switch player on me. I probably hit the button. You know, I'm not exactly in the most fit state at the moment, but... Ah, why did he slow down? Okay, go for it. Yeah, you got something on it. That's what I wanted. Good boy. Oh, shit. Oh, good save. Good save. Uh, I'm not going to make a change at the corner, although I want to. Because I know what this game's like. It's just gonna, it's just gonna make me concede. So as long as I don't make a change for a corner or change formation, I should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Goal kick. Excellent. We can make a change without worrying about conceding. Fullbacks certainly need some time off. So that's what I'm gonna do. No, that's not what I'm gonna do. Bam. There we go. Mullen is actually McShane's gonna come off for more. We'll see what that little shit can do. I doubt it's going to be much, but look, we might as well give it a shot. 
Juan McLaughlin hit that. Ah. Oh. After a lot better to beat David Odomosu, you saw the time the, the attempts that Gormley have had against him. Man's machine. Go on, go on. Ah, oh, what game? You fucking cunt. The game just wouldn't let me fucking do anything there. It just paused. You're fucking kidding me. You are fucking kidding me. I hate this game. I really do. That's their first chance. Their first, and it was bullshit because one of my players just couldn't fucking get past your man. It's not like he was fast or anything like that. He was literally fucking walking with the ball, and I couldn't get past him. Fuck right off with that. That is so shit. Yeah, I've had enough. There's no point playing it. I'm not going to fucking get anything out of it. No, apparently I fucking do. Apparently I do. Well, that was going to be a loss. I don't see the point in fucking giving a man the match for that. Fuck it, I will. Gormley, 6.4. Well done. Youth Squad monthly report. Diamond is bad. Rooney's bad. Cullen is getting worse. Finlay, I might just bring him up just to sell on in the future. Sheridan's getting worse. Brady is pointless, so let's get rid of him. Morrissey is not great. Oh, this is sad. And it's the final youth scout report of the year. Or the season, sorry. Not great. This really wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, how disappointing. And we will check the players that we signed. I think we signed four there. Uh, let's have a look. So, Donald Cunningham. Potential to be something. I doubt it, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep hope. Uh, this Finlay fella looks like he could have something on him. McKinney, not really. And who was the other one? Christopher Rafferty. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt any of these players are actually going to get into the squad. Well, one of the Finleys, maybe even both, if we're lucky, will get in. Alright, so we're seven in the table at the moment with two games left. So, if we win this game and UCD either draw or lose, we're guaranteed to finish at least eighth or above. Now, I did predict that we'd finish seven in the last video. So, I'm going to try and get that or better. So let's see what we can come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Finn Harps away. Oh, that's a good ball, Gormley. Oh, how did you miss? Gormley, man, you need to stop missing. It's going to cost us and make me rage quit. Seriously, you should have had a hat-trick against UCD. McLaughlin should have scored as well. But, you know, that, that guy's a clown, so we don't want to talk about him. Need support for more. We have it, but again, the ball, the passing is terrible in this game. It really is. It doesn't go in the direction that you want it to at all. I feel lucky when a ball goes to where I actually aimed. Uh, I'm not sure if there's like a, a like a patch that they can do that just I don't know makes it so that the players can actually pass the fucking ball. Maybe it's the game's actually designed that way because I'm playing with very low-rated players. That would make sense. That would make the most amount of sense, but it doesn't explain why the AI is able to pass so fucking well with the similarly rated players, if not the same rated players. Like, I'm not too sure um, if that's the case or not, but look, we'll uh, we'll find out as this career mode advances. Also, I want to say McGee made a great challenge there in the box to stop a goal going in. Credit where credit is due. Get that ball to Gormley. 1-0. Oh, I was not expecting that at all. I really wasn't. We've been gifted a goal by the EA Lords. Potential to finish higher than 8. Oh, that was a good finish. I want to watch the entire thing again. I want to see if it shows a build-up play. Um, I think McGauley or Dylan, one of those two, are going to be getting booked. No, it's not going to. It's just going to show the, the initial finish. Okay. A uh, good finish, by the way. Um, A pass actually actually went where i wanted it to go so good work more uh thanks ea uh, it really does feel like a gift you know that the pass went where i want i feel so fucking honored that you would allow me to make a pass where i wanted it to go see what happens when you know the game actually 
works how I expect it to. I score. It's great. Oh, never mind. The game is not going how I expect it to go. Rooney sent off. Ah, <sighs> fuck's sake. Right, we'll go to we'll go to first half with the same formation. No point changing. Oh Jesus! Penalty! Oh, for fuck's sake! You know when I give when I give this game a bit of praise, every time I give this game some praise, it just fucks me over. It really does. Every time I've given praise, where's the fell in that? Where's the fell? If anything, their cunting cunt player is fouling me. This game is bullshit. It really is. It's so shit. That was just so unfair. Yeah, there you go. Of course it's blocked. Right, cool. I'm going to need to pour myself another drink. That's going to be fucking six now. And a cup of tea in between. Fucking hell, this game. I won't mind. We're not even playing bad anymore. We're not playing bad. We haven't played bad in a while. It's just the game's just shit. Like, really shit. And of course, none of my fucking youth academy players can play defense midfield. I don't get what the difference is between defense midfield and center mid. Well, for some reason, it takes 153 weeks. Nearly three years. Train them to play defense midfield. I don't get it. And you know what? Fuck you, my pride. You're shit. You can play there. Right. Mini rant over. Second half. Let's begin this. I'm going to need to pour myself another drink as well. I should have done it at halftime. The McBride just can't fucking pass. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I tried to get him to pass that ball. Oh, so many times. Oh, I actually don't like him. I really don't like him. He's supposed to be my fucking potential. Sorry, what? You, you are so lucky. You are so fucking lucky we didn't concede there. I really want him to go out on loan. Macaulay's going out on loan and Macaulay's actually fucking playable. You're not. McBride, you're not great. You're terrible. You're a carrier. That's it. You move the ball off the pitch. By running. You can't do anything else. You're not good. McCauley can pass a fucking ball. Look at that. He intercepted something that you haven't done in fucking years. Why would you give a foul there? Why would you give a foul there? I was advancing with the ball. McBride, just have a shot. No, of course you're shit. You're fucking shit. <sighs> fucking hell. Anyone unhappy here? No one seems to be unhappy. Uh, Kearney can come off. I need to pour myself a drink ASAP. I'm sick of this shit. I'm not drunk enough. I really am not. I'm not drunk enough for this. Let's see if that goes in. I need it to go in. No, off the crossbar. Rebound. See! Yes, there we go. Time to pour a drink. Mullen, great goal. What a huge goal. That stops us from finishing... 8th, I think. Hopefully. If results go my way. And I've been at this game for 40 minutes. What? Man, how drunk am I? It's actually felt like 20 at the absolute max. Oh my god. That's bad. Anyway. I was expecting to have one drink. Maybe two. I think it's turned into seven. Six or seven. Anyway. We shall plow on. Just like I'll plow your mother. That's a joke. I swear. Oh no. Cronin with great defensive work. As usual... Cronin is so good, he can turn butter into a sauce. Alright, this should be game over. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank Christ for that. Right, man the match. Who are we going to give this to? Definitely not McBride. Definitely not. Uh, they want to give it to Mullen. I disagree. I want to give it to Cronin because he was solid throughout that game. He was absolutely solid. So there you go. Seven for Cronin. Alright gamers, I'm back. Uh, where are we? Oh, well that's not what we want to do. Rooney suspended. Fantastic. Alright, I don't care about that.
Going for offer for O'Connor. I want to see if I can get maybe 140 for it. They're not going to go for that. That's too high. I don't, but I have to delegate offers, so that's what I'm going to do. I want to see something. Oh, we're going to have to change Runeo. Standings. We're on 40 points. Uh, if we beat Shamrock Rovers, who have over doubled my points, I somehow could go 6th. Most likely, I'm going to finish 7th. As long as Shelburne do not win. If I lose, Shelburne have to lose or draw. But, yeah, that's not going to be great. Here we go, it's the final match of the season. Against Shamrock Rovers. Away from home. Uh, I'm going to change the kits. Uh, I'll probably just play in the black one. And, uh, yeah, we'll get into the game and see what happens. Oh, that's a good chance. Oh, what a tackle from Grace. That is absolutely insane. I also want to point out, the ref has a black kit on. That doesn't help at all. That really doesn't help. Oh, we nearly scored there from Buckley. But it doesn't help that the ref has the same color, or at least very, very similar looking kit to my team. Because it means I'm going to keep trying past them. Also, how is that fell? Fuck off. Eat my ass. Get that ball from McBride. Of course, the ball doesn't go where it wanted to. And is that fell? No, it's a penalty, apparently. Female ref is on our side. She's literally wearing our jersey. She is on our side. Love you, hon. Come on. That's a big goal for the season that we've had. Finishing higher than eighth is big for us. Which is sad. It's so sad that this is what my first season is like. I, I swear, usually I win the title or at worst I finish third. I have never, ever been this bad at FIFA. Well, actually, that's a lie. 2012 was really bad for me. But FIFA 13, I love the game by the way. It was, I, I wasn't like fantastic uh, for the first little bit. But I learned very quickly how to play the game. But this game, whew, there's a learning curve that's I'm finding rather tough. I'm not gonna lie. All right, half time. We're one 0 up. All we have to do is hold on to this for the second half. We're gonna play very boring possession-based football just to get me through the second half. We just need to win the ball back first. Wish me luck, gamers. That's a good ball. More. Yes, kickoff glitch. Right back in your fucking ass. You love that. 2 1. Good. One more. Oh my god. How did you miss? How did you miss? Hogan's off. Kearney's on. Uh, McShane will put on. And Mullen. Alright, there we go. Cool. I was hoping for more youth players this season, honestly. I was hoping for six or seven. And we ended up settling on three. Maybe four if I get one of the Finleys in. But overall, we've just not been great. Uh, this season has not been very productive, let's say. And no European football for next season either. Regardless of this result. Great block, Cronin. My hero. Oh, come on, more. Got a bit of work to do here. Ah, fuck it. You might as well. It was worth a shot. Game's practically over. I would be surprised. I'd be very surprised if they score. Come on, ref. Call it. There we go. Well, we slowly, slowly started gaining momentum. The longer the season went on. Uh, the momentum that we did have wasn't great. It didn't last long, is what I mean. But we got it. Do you want to give Man the Match to Hogan? Uh, I I disagree with that. For me, it's between Flanagan and Cronin. For Man the Match. I mean, pass accuracy was 100% from Cronin. Same with uh, Flanagan. Same with the dribble success rate. 
Um, Flanagan had more dribbles. And he had more passes. Uh, bar, position one. Off possession. Uh, I'll give it to Cronin. Uh, personal bias right there. Um, yeah. Flanagan's leaving the club, so I don't really see the point of giving him on the match. In the final day, Cronin's going to be staying with us for a while, so I'll give it to him instead. So, there you go. That's pretty epic. Bride loan offer, one-year deal. Oh, that is music to my ears. On the final day, we get something lovely and sexy like that. Connor sale agreement. Yeah, he can go as well. This is great news. So off you go. Cronin. I'm glad you came and talked to me. A proper captain right there. Not fucking Buckley's thinking that he's class and trying to take over the captaincy. Loan offer rejected. Oh, let's see what happens here. All right, cool. I didn't get that for any of the others. I could have made 30k more profit. Squad depth needed. Uh, no. Uh, if it comes through the academy, that's no problem. Connor sold. Uh, McBride loan rejected because McBride is a fucking loser. Yeah, not great. And Adam Finley finally wants to come up to the squad, and I'm going to let him. So, Adam Finley, welcome to uh, the squad. You're the fifth player to be promoted in Youth Academy in Season 1. Youth Squad Monthly Report. Let's have a look. I'm going to get rid of Diamond, because there's no point. Get rid of Rooney, no point. We'll keep Donal there for a little bit. Same with Cullen. Uh, if Cottle Finley will leave there for a little bit. Same with McKinney. Sheridan we'll get rid of. Uh, Rafferty we'll get rid of. Marcy we'll keep for now. Alright everyone, here's the stats for everyone. I'm going to go through the different awards that I've done. Um, like player of the season, most goals, most assists, best goal, best assist, etc. Um, yeah, so just go through everyone's results here. So you can see what people got. You can pause the video if you want to. Uh, I'm going to be going through the each award that I've done has a first to third in it. So, most appearances, Kieran Moore with 39. Um, George McBride with 37 and Enda Dillon with 36. So congratulations for them for playing the most games. Kieran Moore actually played every single game this season. Every possible game he could have played, he played. So that's good. Most goals, Kieran Moore with 23. John Gormley with 10 and George McBride with with nine. Most assists. George McBride with 12. Kieran Moore with eight. Patrick Rooney with five. Most clean sheets. I'm going with uh, goalkeepers only. So Javier Cardona got six. Uh, Peter Maguire got two. And no other goalkeeper got a clean sheet because they didn't play a single minute. The best assist award is going to George McBride, where he passed to Kieran Moore against Sligo Rovers, where Kieran Moore lobbed the keeper with a head, with a header, as he was facing his back to goal. If I remember, I will put that goal uh, in this video. Now, if I'm almost certain it was George McBride, I am going off the top of my head here, and I am drunk. Uh, so, if it wasn't George McBride, I will correct it in the video, and I will change the award. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, best goal goes to Rooney versus Finn Harps. I'm almost certain this goal was against Finn Harps. I think it was in the first or the second video. It was an absolute screamer from outside the box. Uh, that's the goal that I think of when I think of the best goal of the season. That's the one that comes to mind, and that's the one that I'm going to go with. Highest rating. This one took a while to figure out because I had to scroll through everyone. But strangely enough, Alex Nichols has the highest rating of a 6.9. Next to him is Kieran Moore with an 8.7. That's abysmal. And then after that, it's Evan Cronin with a 6.63. And he's 16 and he's captain. What a hero. Player of the season. 
So these are the player season is the total amount of man the matches that I've given out to players. So whoever has the most uh, gets the captaincy for the following season. As long as they're Irish, of course. Evan Cronin with 35.3. So he's going to retain the captaincy for next season. Kieran Moore with 23.6. At one point, it looked like he would be captain for next season until we signed Evan Cronin from the Youth Academy. And then it just went on his head. And John Gormley with 22.5. Only 1.1 points separating him and Kieran Moore. But anyway, I'm almost certain I've gotten everything there. Now, there's going to be a mass exodus next season. I'll probably keep recording uh, just to see what happens. But, you know, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. This one's going to be a long video, by the way. Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot to show the table. Well, we finished seventh. That was awful. Two points off six. We were nine points. Sorry, no, no, we were 11 points off third. And how many points were we off the title? 46? Assuming our goal difference got better. That's grim. We are terrible. We were terrible this season. How far were we from the bottom? We were 13 points from finishing bottom. That was grim. 12 wins, 7 draws, 17 losses. 50 goals scored, which isn't bad. 68 conceded, which is terrible. And minus 18 goal difference. That is the worst performance I've ever had. And I'm embarrassed for it. That's disgusting. Alright, time to end the very first season of the Leeds Heart FC career mode. So, finished seventh, got to the quarterfinals of the EA Sports Cup. Uh, we signed five youth players. And that was a... Yeah, that was disappointing to say the least. So, uh, yeah. But let's see what we can do in Season 2. Hopefully it's going to be something good.